I realized that I really enjoy research and I decided to go into some kind of health related field. So I applied for translation of medicine programs and I was accepted into Johns Hopkins, which was a great experience. As I was going through my PhD, my boss, he's an MD PhD, so I was able to go to a clinic with him and see a lot of the patients. And as I had that more experience, I really, I realized that I really wanted that patient interaction. Like I wanted to be able to see my patients and actually talk to them and build that connection. University of Florida is an I mean, incredible school. I mean, I always wanted to come here. So when medical school kind of called, I figured I would apply here and here I am. I actually became a single parent right before med school. When I decided to come to UF, I was actually lucky enough to receive a scholarship, not only being yourself, just one person, but having two extra kids. And my kids are almost teenagers now, so they eat a lot. It's a lot of, a lot of like pinching pennies and clipping coupons. Having the scholarship, it was great because it was one little bit of less stress that I had to deal with. I knew that if, you know, my kids needed something, because emergencies always happen, I had a little bit of a backup in order to help out. So it takes some of that anxiety and stress away. I'm going to be specializing in dermatology and I'll be attending Thomas Jefferson University for my residency. They always tell you that you have this aha moment when you find your specialty that you want. And I hadn't had that up to that point. And then all of a sudden dermatology came along and it was like, ah, you know, it was really awesome. The feelings that you get when you match, it's nothing that I can explain. It, it's completely beyond words. And for me, it was like an extra thing because my kids were there and my kids have been there every step of the way. We make decisions together. Every single time I have to make a decision, even my rank list, we went through it together. I try to have that connection with my kids. And I wanted to show my kids that even if it's hard, you know, you can still do it. 10 years from now, what is my, you know, my goal scenario, it will be to actually be in academia. I would like to have a uh, lab at one point in my life and be able to inspire other graduate students and another medical student as well.